everyone. This is a video, a quick video to show you how to put your reed on your mouthpiece with your ligature. So the only two pieces we're going to use for right now is the barrel. So grab the barrel out of your case and then the mouthpiece. Your mouthpiece might have the cap and the ligature on it. I want you to take it off and you're going to put these two pieces together. Okay, there's only one way they can go. The other way is too big. Okay, so you're going to put the barrel and the mouthpiece together. And meanwhile, you're going to have your reed soaking in your mouth. So your, my reed has writing on the back, like everyone does. And you, you're just going to put it on your tongue like that. You need to be very careful. You can see from the side, this part of the reed, the tip, is very thin. So you need to be careful not to break it, whether it's in your mouth or while you're putting it on. So you're going to put your reed on your tongue and soak it. <clears throat> you're going to do that, I did this beforehand, but you're going to do that while you're putting your clarinet together. Okay? The next step is to get your ligature. So your ligature has screws. The screws on your ligature should always be on the right. So there's many different types of ligatures, but this is the most common one. And you're going to just loosely put it on your mouthpiece like this. Once we're done, you can see the flat surface. The reed will go right here and your screws should be on the right. So if I'm looking at it like this, my screws are on the right. Okay? So your ligature is on nice and loose. After your reed has been soaking, you are going to take your reed. You are not going to touch the tip. You're going to touch the sides and you're going to lift your ligature up just like this and you're going to slip this in here, slide it down and use your fingers to guide the sides here and line it up with the shape at the top. So the shape at the top is nice and curved, right like that, and you want to line it up not too high, not too low. If you do it correctly, there should be a very thin black line, if you can see. Very thin black line. I have mine a little bit too high. Okay, once you get it lined up, you're going to hold the reed in place and you're just going to push the ligature down. If your ligature doesn't go down that easily, you need to unscrew this a little bit, but you never want to unscrew these screws all the way. Okay? So you're going to, once you get it lined up, there's going to be this straight line right here. This ligature should be just underneath that straight line. You don't want it your ligature up high because it will not hold your reed on very well. You're going to push your ligature down, and then you're going to tighten these screws. You tighten the top one first, and then the bottom one right underneath it. And the point of the ligature is just to hold the reed on, okay? So that is how you put your reed on. If you do it correctly, ooh, teeth on top, corners in, that's the sound it should make. Now, if you do it incorrectly, your reed might be way high up. So you can see from the back, it's really far up. You don't want that. Or your reed might be too far down. You don't want it to look like that. So just a couple things to check. Make sure it's lined up with the tip. Your ligature should be under this straight line on your reed. Then you want to tighten it. So here's the view up close, like that, and from the back. So if I'm looking at it like you are, the screws are on my right. That's what we want. If you're having trouble with the ligature, this takes practice, but once you get used to it, it becomes a lot easier. You might have put the ligature on upside down. If that happens and you can't get it to go down, it's just upside down. That's an easy fix. Okay? If you have questions, make sure you let me know and I will help you. Bye everyone.